Now that we have a full complement of official photos from Volvo, including interior and detail shots, it's clear the V90 is gorgeous, from its concave grille to its artfully beveled rear end. From the B-pillar forward, there's nothing we haven't seen before on the S90, but the V90's long, unashamedly wagon wire rear visually balances out its long jaw in ways the S90's sloping profile cannot, and we love how the tail ends zigzag from the license plate frame and up the D-pillar to the roof. Unsurprisingly, the V90's interior appears virtually identical to that of the S90, and we're totally okay with that. Shown in fancy inscription form, the V90's cabin is as clean and as aesthetically Swedish as can be, with the interior's centerpiece being the same large, portrait orientation entertainment screen we've come to appreciate each time we drive the XC90. Nifty details include the angled grain wood trim, the grills for the Bowers and Wilkins speakers, and the various knurled knobs and switches. Few specifics were released about the features and powertrain combinations that will make it into U.S. bound V90S, but we expect the car to follow the S90's general program. The likely base engine is a turbocharged 2.0-litre T5 4-cylinder that we expect to make something close to the 240 horsepower and 258 pounds foot of torque the same engine puts out in the current S60 slash V60. The next rung up would be the turbocharged and supercharged 2.0 litre D6 engine cranking out some 316 horsepower and 295 pounds foot. And since Volvo is all in with its twin engine electrification program, you can bet your bottom kroner that at some point, the T8 twin engine plug-in hybrid powertrain eventually will appear, making somewhere around 410 horsepower while giving the car an all-electric range of 30 miles or so. All-wheel drive may be standard throughout the range, although the T5 may also be available with front drive in base form. A high-performance Polestar model remains a titillating possibility. The V90 will pack Volvo's semi-autonomous pilot assist technology from the factory, as does the S90. We expect that it'll come with the Swedish automaker's impressive roster of active and passive driver assistance features, too, including parking assist, 360-degree cameras, active high beams, collision mitigation, large animal detection, and more. While the V90 is definitely coming to the US market in some iteration, the lingering question is whether it will be offered as a jacked up cross country model, the slinky form you see here, or both. Our hope is that Volvo doesn't give us only a butched up version, but we'll take new wagons any way we can get them. There's time for Volvo to decide. The S90 arrives here this summer, but the V90 isn't slated to arrive until some point in 2017.